was young, I was so full of fear I hid behind anger, held back the tears It was me against the world, I was sure that I'd win The world fought back, punished me for my sins I felt so alone, so insecure I blamed you instead and made sure I was heard And then tried to warn me of my evil ways But I couldn't hear this is the guitar lesson for Social D, I Was Wrong, from GuitarMadeEasy.com. First thing you want to do is make sure that your guitar is tuned a half step down. Your E should sound like this. Let's get a cleaner tone on there. And let us begin. This song, all you gotta know are your power chords to play this song. Uh, the life of a punk rocker, make millions and millions of dollars only knowing one chord shape. Wow. And there's only a few parts of the song, so a lot of this song is very repetitive. The intro and the chorus is the same, and it goes like this. Power chords are insanely easy. All it is is one shape, move it around, it's going to give you different chords. The shape, in case you don't know it, you're, uh, let's do the very first chord in the song, for example, it's going to be an E power chord. So pointer finger goes on the 7th fret on the A string, ring finger on the 9th fret on the D string. We have our pinky on the 9th fret on the G string. Everything else is muted. Has kind of a powerful sound, doesn't it? Now this shape, move this shape around to any other fret with maintaining this shape and it's going to give you a different chord. So right now, when I say based off of the E string or the A string, that means your pointer finger with this shape is going to be on that string. So based off of the 7th and 9th fret, off the A string, that's our E power chord, the very first chord in the song. The next chord, we're going to move this shape, and we're going to base it off the 7th and 9th fret on the E string. That's your B power chord, the second chord in this song. We're going to slide all the way down to the second and fourth fret, and that's going to be our F sharp power chord based off of the second fret on the E string. Then we're going to slide up to the fifth and seventh fret on the E string, and that's going to be our A power chord. So all together, the intro and the chorus of the song are the same, and they go like this E, B. F sharp, then we slide up to A, over and over and over again. Now when the vocals come in, when Mike Ness starts singing, we're doing that same chord progression, but what we're doing is we're palm muting, so we're taking this part of our palm putting it on the bridge of the guitar so it's kind of muted. Now I've got a clean tone right now, but if I had distortion on it would sound awesome. And you want to mess around with it and make sure you don't mute too much, because if you mute too much, it's going to sound like that. We don't want that. We want to move our palm farther that way down the bridge until it gives us a thick, kind of chunky sound right there. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Now if I put my distortion on, it would sound awesome. But I'm not going to right now. I want you to be able to hear the notes. So, same chord progression, we have our E, our B, our F sharp, and then our A, but what we're going to do is we're going to pluck the bass note in this power chord, which once again, it's going to be our pointer finger, wherever our pointer finger's at, we want to pluck it twice, two down plucks, and then I want to strum through the chord, so, just like that, but watch what I'm doing when I play the verse. So I did that twice for each chord. I went through all the chords and then towards the end of the verse going into the chorus, he kind of goes back into strumming the chord. So I think when he says, it was big as the world. So it was big as the world, I was sure that I'd win. So the 
the first half of the verse, we want to palm mute. Second half, we want to strum through. Now I'm using all down strums. You really don't have to use too many up strums. A lot of punk rockers, they're big on the down strums. So use down strums. And also listen to the original recording to get a feel for that rhythm. So now at the bridge, things change up a little bit. The chord progression changes up. Most of the chords are the same though. How it's played is like this. Okay, so what I was doing there was I was making a B based off of the 2nd and 4th fret based off of the A string. My pointer finger's on the A string at that 2nd fret. And so that's our first chord. And then we're going to do the F sharp down here based off of the E string at the 2nd and 4th fret. Slide up to the A based off the 5th and 7th. Then up to the uh, B over here on the 7th and 9th based off of the E string. These Bs are the same chords but I just think it sounds better to go from this B to that B. It gives it a little bit more flavor. And once again, we're gonna palm mute through the bridge. I think that part's where he goes, I grew up fast, I grew up hard. And then it goes right back into the chorus of the song. So we play through that, and then as we go over closer to this A and this B, he kind of starts to strum. So he starts to strum it, starts to make it get a little bit louder back into the chorus of the song. That's the entire song, guys. Those are all the parts. I hope you have fun with it. I love Mike Ness and I love Social D. Once again, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Also download my top secret guitar tips from mysecretguitartips.com. And thanks for watching my videos, guys.